Hey guys, it's been a minute since I've done a video, so I apologize about that. It is Saturday, October 30th, uh, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon or so, and I uh, got a bunch of stuff done and figured I'll go out and uh, explore the creek bed a little bit. I love fall. It's beautiful out. Uh, weather's nice, but one of the bad things about it is that uh, there's a lot of leaves all over mixed in with the rocks, so it kind of makes it hard. So I think I'm going to go on down uh, stream a little bit and see what I can find down that way, see if there's a little bit more open spot uh, with less leaves so we can see the rocks a little bit better. So anyhow, let's go see what we can find. All right, yeah, so um, right off the bat, I started finding a few things. I mean, right here where I just turned on the camera uh, just to say, hey, uh, and then I looked down at my feet. I went down to pick up old Charlie. In case you're wondering who Charlie is, you know, Charlie Bucket. Willy Wonka reference. Um, looked down, I saw this rock. It's got this fun hole in it. Uh, you see that? And then I looked on the inside of it, and I don't know if you can see it in here, but it's actually, uh, let me see if I can find some sun. It's actually a fossil in there um, of, a, uh, of a shell. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so here's that shell I was just telling you about. It's not a shell itself. It's an imprint. It's a uh, what's called a trace fossil, which means it leaves a sign that there was one there, and you see the imprint um, left behind from that shell. So you can see a little bit of them on the inside right there. Looks like it was broken off in there. But pretty neat nonetheless. I'm not going to keep it. All right, we can get old Charlie out of the way. Let's we'll see what we can find right off the bat. So this looks like um, an iron concretion right here. And uh, see, whenever you see these little cavities open like this right here, that's a good indicator for some druzy quartz. Think of like a, uh, a geode, how it forms. So I'm not really seeing any sparklies in there, but still, since we're right here on the river, it may have had uh, some druzy quartz on the inside, and then as it tumbles, um, as it's in the water, it'll tumble, 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 and it gets worn down, and so it'll probably, um, those crystal faces, those little uh, reflections you see, they'll get worn off. That's pretty cool. It's like another iron concretion. You want to find lots of those in this area. Like this one here. It's got an interesting red dot on it though. I don't know what that's about. See those little sparklies right there? That's uh, actually druzy quartz. Those are little crystal faces, little teeny tiny ones. Um, and that's just reflecting the sun back to me whenever I move the uh, rock around in my hand. You see all those little crystal facets that are reflecting back to me. They are going to be really small. So it's really pretty. It catches your eye when you're walking by. See a shiny object. Interesting. There's a vein of something walking through that, and I've got no idea what's going on there. It's still pretty neat, though. All right, so this is the creek that I've uh, been to a few times before on uh, previous videos and stuff, uh, where I have found uh, some rocks with some uh, really neat holes in them. They look like uh, some little tube worms or something like that. Uh, uh, burrowed through and then the rock uh, fossilized or the clay fossilized uh, turned into a rock So I'll probably find some more of that here, but what I'm looking for today um, I found a, a banded agate here once 
and uh, I'd like to find another one again if I can. Um, actually, that's kind of fun. Hey, speaking of those uh, rocks with the holes in them, there we go. And they go through on both sides. See, some of the holes will have like little lumps on the inside, like they're right there above my uh, finger. Um, again, I don't know what they are, but I find them in abundance here at this creek. They have a lot of really pretty coloring on them. They're pretty brittle. They'll break apart. Um, I kind of picture it like a, the candy shell over a, an M&M or something, you know? I have no idea what's running through this rock. Looks like it doesn't go through. Maybe it's a topical kind of a stain. I'm not sure. These pink ones are nice. I bet this thing would tumble down nicely. I don't have a tumbler. Unfortunately. Oh, this itty bitty little teeny tiny thing just caught my eye. It's got some itty bitty little sparkles in there. Let me get down here in a little bit better sunlight. That's that's a bunch of itty bitty little druzy quartz. Oh, looky there. There's another one. Um, there's another one of those rocks with all the holes in them. And see how that has vertical lines going through? Um, like a big sponge or something. Sometimes the quality of these aren't as good. But they're still neat to find because they're pretty unusual. I'm going to leave that right back down there. Some spider will make that a home underneath that. See what I mean about uh, leaves being everywhere, making it hard to see all the rocks and stuff? So I'm just going to leave those there. That rock's interesting. It's too colored. Two-toned. Well, that's not quartz. Ooh, it's heavy. that right back there so where I first started was right around that corner right there I didn't feel like walking through the water uh, it's only in the mid 60s today and I had to walk up through there uh, went through a lot of uh, weeds and stickers and bamboo and came down a little water area right there so it's a little bit slippery but I made it Woohoo! As soon as I get down here, I saw this rock right here. That's interesting. Let me rinse that off. Take a look at it. Oh yeah, that was filled with druzy quartz. At one time, see all that little betroidal uh, texture? Uh, betroidal is those little bumps, kind of like a grape, a uh, cluster of grapes. Still a little rock in there. That's yeah, kind of wedged. And I got stuff on my finger. Yeah, cool rock though. All right, so my trip's gonna be uh, cut a little bit short. Uh, the guy that's driving that tractor right there, he's going to be doing some hunting on that side. He's uh, going over to drop some corn, and then he's going to take his tractor back, and then he's going to be doing some uh, uh, some hunting. So I've only got a few minutes. 
after he parks his tractor or drives it back over there, I'm going to get out of here because he's going to be shooting around looking for some deer and stuff. So, so I've only got a few minutes left. So unfortunately, uh, this will be cut short and uh, I'll just come back some other time. All right. So I've probably got about five to ten minutes. So I'm just going to do some looking around real quick. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Look at that. Hey, that's cool. Wait a minute. Well, that's fun. What in the world is that? It's kind of got the shape of a uh, horn coral, but it's not horn coral. It's a different texture, so it's kind of kind of looks like petrified wood, maybe. That's cool. Still want to check that out. How fun is that? That's a little moon rock. That's pretty cool. I might hang on to that. I'll put that in old Charlie. I'll put that possibly petrified wood in old Charlie too. Hey, look at those striations. I just saw that. Yep. There's another one right over here. See all those bumps? A little bit better look at this thing. That was pretty fun. I haven't been to this creek in months. Man, I wish I could stay here a little bit longer. But that guy's going to be back in about 5-10 minutes. And he's going to be uh, up in his uh, spot to hunt. So maybe he'll be back sooner than that. Well, some of the joys of uh, going out trying to rock hound is that you run into lots of these little things and no clear path makes it kind of hard to run uh, walk through this stuff. I'm going to follow the area I came in on and knock a bunch of stickers down. And, on top of that, you got trees like this right here. Ouch. Look at those limbs. See that? Coming down here waiting to snag me. Man. So, a tree like that, you don't only have to worry about um, them being up over your head and walking around them uh, But branches fall down and they get down there on the ground. They'll go right through your shoes And There we go I gotta walk through a bunch of bamboo Try and find my way back